All right, we are back with another late time, a late night game. The time is around 9 p.m. my time, and I will be casting this game live. Today we have Isental against the one, the only, the kitten mitten. Um, you guys might remember as um, uh. If he's like an old community member, and we have Isental here. He's always been here. He's always been special. And I wonder which one of these units um, people are more special now. They both got very special colors: pink versus purple. So this is just like one of my Japanese animes. We're gonna see a U.S.-China matchup. I'm really curious on what the hell he's gonna do because currently we I see a bad supply placement. Your supply should definitely. Uh, face towards the supply set, otherwise it'll be like a 0 0.3 to 0 0.7 uh, time to just spin around and um, you know, and maybe a second more to spin around to get right the right position to drop your your, your supplies off. And you see two ranges and Mislif and Kamal, second supply coming in from Mitin, and on this side, I do see uh, one supply coming out with one supply truck. I do like the red guards going around, there is scouting to be done. By Mitin. There's two scouts coming from Isental, which, you know, on this map isn't a bad idea, but I hope he's putting this in a smart place. Two collectors from here, from Mitin, that's very good. You should always remember to uh, micro your collectors to the amount of crates there. Like, if there's two collectors, use two crates. Now, we're going to see red guards outpace these heavily armored um, a rangers to get them shot. One of them does get killed. Now, the missile defenders are advancing towards the middle. I will say that Isental has these garrisons with red guards, so these missile defenders will be dying. In just a second, alongside this drone, he has nothing he should be doing that he should get back immediately. Both players have not gone for their oils just yet as well. We do see the bayonet come in, and this red guard is now elite because he has bayoneted two high-tech American, you know, missile defenders with their laser-like technology, and now he is an elite member of their club. Now we're going to see the Targeteer drone, get, the Oracle drone, get taken out, but these red guards are going to be chased down by his homie. Somebody is going to probably let them escape into the building, and these garrisons will be starting to pick up on the homie if he doesn't get back. It is going to take a bit of damage. He should be getting back right now. They are taking, yeah, they're taking a good amount of damage, but we do see optimized production come out from Isental, and these two battle masses will quickly clean up this homie. Now, Mitin definitely needs to expand or tier up. He is currently on low supplies compared to Isental, which is worrying. We will see that Isental is expanding to a third supply on the right. Now, if he can secure the middle, which he is busy with, um, I did mention that this RT platform is very important. If he can actually secure this garrison and just make a defensive line, maybe get through it over here and like uh, a second barracks with mines here just as a minefield, then it'll be very good for him. And on this end, the middle is very important as well. If he can get the tech repair bay, all of his vehicles, especially the lower tier ones, will be quite something. I heard some building get canceled there, but I'm not sure what it was. I'm going to guess that it was a tech... Um, Tech uh, drone control center, I guess. Now we are going to see one vanguard, two missiles, and oh wait, two van two missiles, two vanguards. All right. They are going to get built on this end. Uh, I just thought it was busy to go, and uh, and he's building a scout over here at the same time. Oh, the scout is spotted, but um, yeah, he's going to go for his own oils. Now we are going to see a propaganda center getting built, and double Gatling tanks are getting produced as well. Now I should mention that these two are just pretty casual, and new, you know. Um, this is a tryhard game. All right. I'm trying to sell it as one, but it's not a tryhard game, so, you know, don't be, don't rip these guys a new asshole because, you know, they make mistakes, all right? The second supply, lack of the second supply truck over here is pretty much pissing me off, but I'm liking that Isental is using the time to actually not keep idle and keep on doing something, all right? Now, I like the Tovi destroying the scout, the beacon and stuff, but Mitin is not sleeping, you know, on two feet, but he is floating 3k and he does not have any expansions or any vision on the enemy. So this advancing strike force of Balmas and Gatling tanks will not be seen. This barracks will quickly get taken out, which will deny any infantry coming in for him. And the single Viper is no match for these two uh, Gatling tanks. I think this might be GG for Mitin right now. Um, the Rangers do get killed off because, you know, the Rangers spawn is a joke. The Tori does come in. The, the the Viper does engage the wrong target, does engage the Battle Master. The Gatsworths are now engaging the Dozer. It's talking the wrong thing, but now the Gats are attacking the um, the Viper. The Viper does go down. The Gats are now getting a position to attack the, the uh, harass the Harastic's collection line. And his missile defense with this Tobies are going to try to pick out one of these um, 
Gathurus. Now these Gathurus are attacking the building rather than the Osprey. Wait, they're going back. They are going to be targeting the um, the infantry over there. There, there's a there's a Blackhawk that comes out. It will be evacuating all the units, but that Toby's not cutting at all. He's exposed. He does get taken out. The infantry units that are used in will be starting to fire back as well. The uh, Blackhawk is going to land for a second reason. For I don't know why, but we do see a bunch of Rangers come out. They should definitely engage this Gathurus before he gets crushed. No, he doesn't go for a crush, and now he goes for the crush. Now, I'm not sure which... I think just not going for the crush would have been better overall. Using your armored units like your uh, Battlemaster would have been a better idea for this. I think Metin is going to get... He's going to be able to clean this up. The Hunter Killer is getting engaged, and it will be able to finish... It will be able to fly up, and with that, he'll be able to engage these uh, Battlemasters with these. Hunter Killers are dedicated anti-tank, you know, jets, and they will have a good amount of damage coming into them. I do like the minigun is coming out, and Tier 1 is already up for Isenthal. But given that, Metin still managed to hold down even with barely any help on his War Factory left. And, and the second Hunter Killer does go out as well. He did not capture oil still. He's getting distracted with these units, but he does manage to fight off, like I said. And with only half a supply of collection, and this oil will not upgrade into an oil, or this oil not even getting captured. I would say that they're in a pretty evil position just about now. I don't get why he's retreating the um, the heavy gunners. He should definitely focus back on, you know, capturing stuff. He doesn't... Spalance, it doesn't actually kill a Hunter Killer on the airfield, which is pretty silly. But, you know, this is tier zero. It is a silly moment. Okay, the oil well does get upgraded, so now he's going to have one oil of an advantage. Now, um, if he can get the other one, there'll be one supply worth of advantage. Now, currently, there's only half a supply. So, in collection rates, I would say that... Um, uh, Ice has around three, three, uh, three supplies worth of collection. Meanwhile, um, Mitten only has two, so he definitely needs to expand to the left and get this oil deck ASAP. The hunter kills are up in the air again. I'm wondering what they're gonna engage. I think they should engage the wait. The battle master would be a good target, or you could go for um, yeah. The supply truck wouldn't be a bad target, honestly. The second one does come out. It does manage to lock on and have a direct hit on that supply truck. Now these hunter kills will be going back. Oh wait. They are going to look for one more target as they will have one more salvo of missiles inside them. They will be taking out two more uh, battle masters. The Hunter Killer is heavily damaged to these tank hunters. I do like the transition back into tank hunters and the uh, anti-tank, I mean, um, AT infantry, as they have been recently buffed. And with these miniguns in the back, Mitten definitely needs some sort of, like, he needs Blackhawks and uh, Comanches, or he needs um, some kind of um, breakthrough strategy for this. Now, he's going to combat drop over here, but honestly, if I had the potential, I would have probably combat dropped inside uh, this garrison and just gunned down anything I could find. Oh wait, did he? This, this combat drop, he missed a combat drop. Wow. Wow, he missed a combat drop. Yeah, Mitten is pretty rusty. Yep, he is pretty rusty. Mix starts to tickle the Blackhawk. He needs one more or two more mixes, actually. I was thinking maybe two more mix hits. I think I have his veteran sleep. But with that, Metin is pretty much at 3.6k. He definitely needs more units, which he doesn't have right now. I would suggest that he gets two more Blackhawks and possibly a um, Comanche. Yeah, two Blackhawks and Comanche. I mean, just a Viper and a Comanche. Now, there's no Gat tank, so the Hunter, the, the tank guns are the only threat for the anti air here. And Blackhawks are very good at killing infantry, regardless, because of the AoE and their Gatling damage. This veteran but wounded ranger will try his best to take out the entire Chinese army by himself. But with everything focused on command side, these crusades will get the first shot on his crusade on his battlemasters. These battlemasters do have the national upgrade, the nationalism upgrade on them alongside uranium shells, so they will have some extra damage. MIG does come in, I think it will be engaging on that uh, ranger and we will be killing that veteran ranger immediately. With that minigunner's damage in the back and no real repairs, this command center will be going down. 400, no, 300 kills are already produced. I don't see any ECM tanks, I'm thinking ECM tanks would be good or a single hound gunship because Metin lacks any proper anti-air. He should be engaging on these targets immediately, why, why is he waiting with this Hunter Killer? This Hunter Killer does get engaged back with the MiG, it survives with one health and I'm not really sure if it should. Uh, now another Blackhawk comes out, good. Now if he can uh, make sure this Blackhawk, yeah, no don't light it! Don't land it! No, the minigunners! That's a terrible position to land them! And they're all stacked on each other. No, what are you doing? Wait, is he just landing it just so to juke the MiGs? He is, and that's brilliant. 
biggest veterans here. Now Minigunners will be starting to get picked off by this um, Blackhawk, which still is going to miss a lot of spite from that MiG, but with these hunters in the air, searching for any more armored targets, it's clear that there's only infantry left. Now the um, MiGs do engage this uh, elite Blackhawk, which still clean up all those infantry units, but with this one... Um, one Ranger left, um, I would say that's pretty good, but I, I'm not sure like how Mason's doing it, I think he should have lost already. But wait, oh no. Please tell me that's a rank 3. Please tell me that's a rank 3. Please tell me that's a rank 3. Come on, come on. Mason didn't play this version, or he didn't play like 1.85 beyond, I think, or 1.8. Oh wait, he went for a B2, the Madman. Okay, okay, let's see. This is rank 1, I think, rank 1. And meanwhile, Mason's like, fuck you. I'm going all in, this is all my cards in my deck, here's a B2, let me kill your airfield, and let me tickle your breeder reactor, because this thing can't kill breeder, breeder reactor, oh, 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 okay, okay, uh-huh, so wait, that's 5k from the airfield and MIGs, and 2k from the breeder reactor, that's 7k worth of damage for 3 GPs, um, now, I will say that, you know, if he got doubled A10, he would have better scouting, he could have a better idea what that was. But, but, given for one general's point, like one strike, that was pretty well placed and very well done for Mitin. I will say I am impressed. And now, with the supply truck done and not rebuilt, these supply collectors are pretty much equalized. Now, um, Isenthal did not capture his own oil, and neither did Mitin, but the middle one is still contested. So, currently, there's only half an oil of difference. And that is microable, or like, if you're a good player, you will be able to make that difference up between each other. Now, I do like the Hunter Kills. I wish they could gain veterancy, but they're drones, so despite having some of their perks, getting drones means that they will not be able to... Oh, wait, we do see the mix. Oh, wait, they're not going to get destroyed. No, no, no. He did juke the mix around, so these uh, there's only like 2k plus 4k worth of damage. These mix did not die, so it's not 7k, but hey, you know, it's, it's good enough. Now, he should realize that there's a proper lack of anti air, so he should definitely use his hunter kills to take out these battle masters immediately. I hear a beep. Oh. Now, hunter kills is gonna get taken out, but they will kill some battle masters, which is a good trade for one hunter killer for two battle masters. 1k for what? 1.5k? That's pretty good. Now, this repair bay, everything will change because Mitten does not have a proper ground force, he only has three um, crusaders. Wait, if he's rank 3, one rank went to, oh wait, oh wow, yes, three of them, wait, no, 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 Blackhawk down, shame. Mm-hmm, yes, drop his no anti-garrison, drop him, drop him, drop him, what? Now, he has the garrisons here, yeah, now, um, as long as he can secure this garrison, it should be fine. The Blackhawk does go down with the amount of tank hunters in the air. It is a real big danger for him. He got an Acolyte drop right now, so he's probably ranked 4. Given that um, Ice is currently ranked, like, I know one is Optimus Production, one is Parabomb, so I don't know where the other one, I think it's Kashak. It could be Kashak. The supply trucks are rebuilt over here, so that's pretty good on his part. Nobody's using this less supplies just yet, and the Hunter Kills are getting used again. They're not having any upgrades on them, so they are going to be pretty vulnerable. Two of them does, do get taken out. We do see veterans see on some of these tank hunters in uh, Red, Red Guard, alongside this one Gat turret. We got the tank. We has all the upgrades, which is pretty impressive, I will have to say. And the Battlemasters don't have nuclear engines or ice of stability. We do see a spy plane up scouting for uh, um, Isenthal. He does see that there's not much on this end. But I do like this composition. Now, this just says that I have armor, I have light armor, and I also have um, def, you know, dedicated anti-infantry. So, if there's uh, if those minigunners don't micro properly, then I think this is good enough to stop that strike force. I'm gonna guess. Hmm. Of course, the air force will speak for both plays, and right now, Mitchin is lacking proper air force. Now, his gas tanks are gonna get picked up by his acolytes, his light tanks. And we are going to see this Migrate getting picked up by his two MiGs. He's definitely fall back by now. He's, he's engaging. He's uh, coming too much. He either move away or should get back. Oh, that's the GP he got. He got the um, War Propaganda. So he has now Global Propaganda alongside uh, whoa, uh, the Tech Repair Bank. And this unit has uh, War Propaganda. So we'll have Rehealing and uh, Horde Bones applied to it. So these units are all going to die. And with this uh, single uh, minigunner, 
Uh, six microwave, this will get picked off by those mi uh, by those MIGs. Mmm, that's not good. That's not good. Yeah, they will get picked off immediately. So this uh this tank will be doing nothing, and these vanguards will be doing their best to kill these infantry. But I would say that you should engage the Gatling turret with them because, like, if you have enough of them, the gas just melts on their vanguards. But with that, I have to say that uh, Metins ran out of money, and he's on one collection. Meanwhile, um, Kit uh, Ice is on two right now. So that will start to show, and without any technology coming out from uh, Metin for tier two. I don't see any seals or any potential for jabs, or, I don't know, command cheese, like, a good command, like, a fully ranked command would be nice here. Or actually just a Burton. And you imagine Burton on knife mode that I will be doing a lot. Now, he is taking that care of the uh, command center. You will be say, saying that that's a bad target. Now, the only bad target here is that these gas tours should run inside the base and kill these Ospreys and, you know, camp the everywhere. But aside from that, I think the uh, command center is good because the only savior for Metin is actually, wait, it's a 50-minute game, but... It would be any generous powers, and he doesn't have any of them right now. And the command center does go down. This will lead to Mitsun losing any other comeback mechanic he has. He has only one dozer left. I think this is GG for him. I will still have to say that given the micro he's given from being away from the game for at least a year, I guess. A year, more than a year, probably. This was still a pretty fun game. What's that? Oh, a wasp drone. Wasp pipe. Uh, I mean, too little, too late. It's GG. Call Mitsun. Call GG. Come on, man. It's in. Come on. Call GG. Hmm. Now, the War Factory does go down. That leaves, that removes all the chances he has for any other uh, War Factory tank units. And now with Airfield down, he's got no more production units. That'll be the end of him. But I think he's just AFK at this point. Maybe I'll all tab into the score, I don't know. Oh, now he calls in GG. Well played to more players, good game.